Hi, Tavis. Hey there. Who has been your most difficult interview, and why was it so difficult? Um, there's a long list of those folks. <laughs> I, uh, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me give you a quick answer. Um, it was a funny story. So that the most difficult interviews across the board are questions to, are people who give you, you know, uh, monosyllabic responses. You ask a question, you get yes, no, fine. That's always a tough interview. My, and my thing is, I, I, I laugh sometimes and tell my staff, that doesn't happen too often, but every now and then somebody begs to come on the show. They beg, they beg, and all the times they're celebrities or they're great authors. And just because you're a great actor or a great writer does not mean you're a good talk show, a talk show guest. So you can write well and you can act well, but get the heck out of here. Don't come over here no more. Because they, they don't, they don't, they don't want to open up. They don't want to engage in conversation. So that giving me one word, two word answers doesn't lead to a conversation. I don't want an interview. I want a conversation. So that's always tough for any person who's sitting in the interview each chair. But one of the more difficult interviews, very quickly, was Fidel Castro. Long story, very short. I went to Cuba years ago to interview Castro. And I was there for seven days, and they kept saying, he'll call you, he'll call you, he'll call you. I'm there the last night at Hotel Nacional, the, the hotel in, in Cuba, uh, in Havana. The last night, we're in the bed. I'm depressed because I didn't get my Castro interview, although he promised me he was going to give it to me. It's 1.30 in the morning. My plane leaves at 7 or 8 back to the States. At 1.30 in the morning, my phone rings, and all I hear is, El Presidente will see you now. I jump out of bed, grab my, put my clothes on, wake up my whole crew, banging on doors, running down the hallway, and we get together, and we, we, we go downstairs, and there's a van to meet us, and under the cover of darkness, we're just going driving, it felt like in circles, round and round and round and round, all over Havana, and finally we pull into this big gate, and we get out and go inside, and Mr. Castro shows up, and we sit down for a conversation. I kid you not, if I'm lying, I'm flying. I sat with Fidel Castro for six hours. Six hours. And the only reason why the conversation ended was because I ran out of tape. Castro talked for six hours. Would you care to guess, sir, how many questions I asked Fidel Castro in six hours? Three. <laughs> Toughest interview of my life because he would not shut up to let me follow up on anything he wanted to say. A six-hour conversation, and I asked three questions. So I'd say Fidel Castro, but it was a great conversation. Though. I learned a Thank lot. You. Thank you for Thank the you. question.